Last time, you saw us complete our sail and arrive on St. Helena after 1,706 nautical miles, 12 days, 22 hours, 15 minutes, two time zones, 60 liters of fuel, and 44 engine hours. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life oh. St. Helena is a 47 square mile dot in the South Atlantic Ocean. It is approximately one third of the way between Cape Town and Brazil. This extinct volcano rises 3,000 meters from the seafloor and offers dramatic topography, such as dry coastal cliffs with a lush green interior. It is the last home of Napoleon and the current home of Jonathan, the 190-year-old Galapagos tortoise. St. Helena is born of two volcanoes that rise from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. When it was much younger, it was a much larger island this diagram shows how the erosion gives us the current formation today. There are 209 bird species on St. Helena, but along the mooring field you'll see the fairy terns and the red-billed tropic bird. Inland, not too far from the airport, you will find the St. Helena plover, which is an endemic species of St. Helena, also known as the wire bird. Visiting boats moor in a field just on the north side of the island, off the shore from Jamestown. Here comes our ferry to pick us up. Due to the constant swell, the island requires that you use their ferry service. It is two St. Helena dollars per person, and the ferry captain keeps a tally and you pay him directly at the end of your stay. This is the Customs and Immigration Office. Everything is all right here together. Everybody met with us around one big table and it was easy peasy. It's just up the road. The other side of that crane is where the little ferry brings you in from your boat. So it was quite efficient. After checking in, we walked around town and made a stop at the bank. There are no ATM machines on St. Helena, so you have to go to the bank to exchange cash. In return, you receive St. Helena Pounds. They are related to the British Sterling Pound, but St. Helena Pounds are only accepted on St. Helena. After exploring, we took the ferry back to the boat and raised the St. Helena flag. The very first person we met on the island, other than the customs people, was the German man who has been on St. Helena all through COVID, and he and his girlfriend got the Yacht Club started back up again. So they invited us for taco night at the Yacht Club. Early the next morning, I stuck the GoPro in the water just for giggles to see what was under there. And bingo! I found tuna swimming under the boat.
We scheduled an island tour and spent the whole day with a man who was born and raised on St. Helena. He drove us around the whole island, showing us all the various sites, such as Napoleon's tomb. He's really not buried there currently. They moved him back to France years ago. We also saw Longwood, the house that Napoleon resided in when he lived here. Napoleon was living here in exile under the guard of the English troops. So this is the plantation house, which is where the governor lives. It is only open for tours on Tuesday, but it is the famous home of three Galapagos tortoises. One of them is Jonathan, who is 190 years old. During the Boer Wars between the Boers of South Africa and England in 1899 to 1902, the English sent the Boer prisoners of war to St. Helena. This is the cemetery from those prisoners of war. 180 Boer prisoners died on St. Helena between the ages of 16 and 61. This is St. James's Anglican Church, built in 1774. It has undergone a lot of restoration and a few changes since then. It is said there has been a church on this site since the island was discovered in the early 1500s. So well, this is heart-shaped waterfall. There's no water falling at this point. This is what is known as Jacob's Ladder. It is 699 steps all the way to the top. but it's currently under construction. It's kind of a rite of passage for visiting sailors to climb Jacob's Ladder, and I really wanted to do it, but it would have taken me quite a long time and been exhausting, and so I wasn't heartbroken that it was under construction, so now I have an excuse as to why it didn't climb it. And here is Jacob's Ladder from the top looking down you really get a feel for how steep it is. Here's what Jacob's Ladder originally was. Jacob's Ladder was built in 1829 by the island residents and was used to take soil, manure, and rubbish up to the farmers on top of Ladder Hill. Friends and ours of ours took a taxi up here and then they started walking down and a bus, I don't know how, how they caught the bus or what, but anyway, he said, well, I'm not really the bus, I'm the school bus, but I'm happy to take oh, you. Okay. <laughs> and he took them partially way down at least. So the road only came as far as here at one stage. And you went that down that one. Oh. This is a, from here down is a newer, newer, newer part. This part was built from uh, 18, 1881, I think, from here down. 1881 is the newer part. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. 
And is this road behind us just not used anymore? Oh yes, it's one way though, you can only come Oh, up. Oh, okay. I love that kind of history when 1881 is the newer part. Well, hello, car. This is Jamestown. It's the main town on the island. I highly recommend to stop at the museum. They had a lot of interesting information, history, lots of artifacts from all different eras of the island. The next morning I thought I'd try my luck to see if we still had tuna under the boat. But alas, all I found were these needlefish. Most of the days it was pretty easy to get on and off the ferry boat. But the last few days we were there, the surge really got large. And this was more like riding a bucking bronco than a ferry boat. The people of St. Helena are called saints. And some creative person drew these fun wings on the wall. So John and I had a good time posing for each other. On our last night, it just happened to be barbecue night at the Yacht Club. So everybody brings something to share. And these gentlemen caught these fish and brought them to share. They were delicious. Thank you for watching. Next time we depart for Ascension Island and we have a lot of autopilot drama. Ooh.